Hello viewers, welcome to Ask Me In Tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn what are the different types of insert methods available in MongoDB. Let's go ahead and switch to their official documentation. You can see that MongoDB provides three different methods for inserting a document into a collection. The first is insert1. Insert1 method inserts a single document at any given point of time. The second is insert many. If you want to insert multiple documents into a collection, then you can use insert many method. The insert many method takes an array of documents. Third is insert. The insert method is nothing but a combination of insert one and insert many. When you pass a single document, it goes ahead and inserts a single document into a collection. If you pass an array of documents, it will go ahead and create a multiple documents in a collections. Let's go ahead and see each and every method in detail. If you see the following example of insert one method, the method is actually taking a single document and the document has three fields, name, age as well as status. When you execute this method, it is going to create a users collection and then it will insert this document or data into that collection. The output value of this collection looks something like this. If the insertion is successful, then it says acknowledge is true and it returns an object ID also. So the insert ID is nothing but the unique identifier of the document. It is left to the user. If required, we can pass a unique ID for each and every document or if you do not pass any ID field, MongoDB will create an automatic ID field and it inserts a unique value for each and every document. Let's go ahead and execute this following example. So I am going to create an employee database. You can see that I don't have any collections here. So when I execute this particular method, it actually creates a user collection and it inserts one particular document. You can see that the same output is written here. It says that status is successful and it has created a unique ID for our document. So when I type show collections, it should list down user collection. When I type db.collections.find, you can see that a document has been inserted and the same thing has been retrieved and displayed here. You can also see that there is one field which MongoDB has inserted ID field and whatever we got as an output value the same thing is the field value here. So this is nothing but the unique reference ID for a particular document. Now let's go ahead and see how to use insert many method. So if you see the following example, insert many takes an array of document. If you see the command, it says db.users.insert many. So users is nothing but the collection. If the collection already exists, it will go ahead and insert these documents into the collection. If the collection do not exist, then it will go ahead and create a new collection. You can see that there is a square brackets which is opened and closed. This indicates that it is an array of documents. Inside this square brackets, we have specified a comma separated JSON objects with the same field names, name, age as well as status. So if we execute this particular method, it is going to return this output values. The first is acknowledge true, which means that the status of the operation. The second is the insert IDs. It's the unique document IDs. So when I press control V, hit control enter, you can see that it has gone ahead and inserted three different document and it has written the unique identifier for all the three documents. Now when I type db.users.find, I can see there are totally four documents inserted in my users collection. Now the last method is insert method itself. As we discussed earlier, Insert method is nothing but a combination of insert1 and insert many. The only difference is with the output value it returns. Let's go ahead and see what exactly it returns. 
So here I'm going to insert a document and it has the same fields, name, age as well as status. When I press control enter, you can see the output is something like this. Write result inserted one. We didn't get the unique object ID which it gave in insert one and insert many. So that is one of the difference between insert as well as insert one or insert many. But if you notice, we have not passed the ID field here. If I go ahead and retrieve all the data in the users collection, you can see that MongoDB has internally created a unique ID for this particular document also. The only thing is in the output window, it will not give you the unique identifier. Apart from that, it basically does the same job as insert one or insert many. So if I pass an array of objects into a insert, it is going to create multiple documents in the user collection. Let's take a look at it in detail. So here for the insert method, I am going to pass a array of JSON documents. When I hit control enter, it says inserted three different documents. It would have gone ahead and created a three different unique identifiers for this document. So when I go ahead and type db.users.find, you can see that now we totally have eight documents inserted here. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do subscribe for this channel for more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.